Hi, I'm Ben Gaines with Adobe Analytics Product Management, and in this video I want to walk you through bullet graphs, which are one of the new visualization types that we've added to Analysis Workspace as of January 2016. Uh, in, this, uh, in this project, I've got a couple of tables that I've already loaded up, pretty basic stuff, revenue uh, by product and just daily revenue. And I'm going to add a bullet graph by coming over here under visualizations and uh, dragging bullet over. Now, if you've never used a bullet graph before, um, it's actually, I don't know if it's an invention of the data visualization guru, Stephen Few, but it, it certainly was... Uh, very uh, well evangelized by him in his book, Information Dashboard Design. And he actually challenged uh, software vendors, analytics software vendors, to use bullet graphs in their dashboards and other uh, analysis-related um, environments. And so we actually took him up on that challenge. Um, the idea with the bullet graph is it's, it's somewhat similar to a bar graph, but it tracks progress toward a goal. Um, so for this bullet graph, uh, this will make more sense once I select um, my target here, I want to actually base this on my daily revenue for the current month. And when I do that, um, I can come in here and, and this is really just going to graph uh, this number here, 1.6 1, 1 million at the moment, but it's going to track that progress toward a goal. So um, let's say that for January, we're about halfway through January as I record this, um, let's say that my goal um, is about $3 million of revenue for the month. Uh, and that's my medium goal. Uh, my high goal, let's say, you know, if I'm really successful, maybe I'll hit hit uh, three and a half million and I'll be okay at two and, two and a half million. Once I've input those and I get to that again, just by clicking on that little uh, gear icon, you can actually, you can see very clearly my progress toward each of those goals. The high goal, of course, is here on the right. The medium goal, uh, you can see it lines up with three million and the low goal, two and a half million. And then as I accrue additional revenue on my site or in my app or whatever I'm tracking, that green bar will continue to move to the right. And, uh, and if I load this project up next month, uh, it will, as long as I've set dates to roll and, and things, um, in my project, uh, that will turn over and I'll, I'll see my February progress toward my goal, my March progress toward my goal, and so on and so forth. Uh, so bullet graphs are great for um, putting those goals in front of your users. If you're using curation and you're sharing these projects with others, or even if you just want to have uh, that, you know, your organizational goal up in front of you while you're doing analysis in a project, bullet graphs are a great way to do that. Um, and, uh, and very easy for people, even uh, those who are maybe less familiar with analytics or with data, very easy to see progress toward a goal using a bullet graph. And I think that's why Stephen Few was such a big fan of them. And uh, that's why you can now use them in analysis workspace.